What is going on everybody welcome back to the Modern Warfare 2 video today we're going over the top six best guns for you guys to be using here in Modern Warfare 2. With the game having been out here almost week myself being max level I've got about 10 to 12 gold guns right now I've had a pretty good idea of how to rank stuff up and which guns are actually really really good and shine above the others here in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. And I'm not gonna lie there's a few guns in here in this list that are actually a little bit broken but if you happen to go on to enjoy today's video make sure you guys drop it a like let's break 300 likes in 24 hours also subscribe the notifications turned on so you not miss out on any of my future content for our first thing here today we're gonna take a look at the cast 762 this is one of my personal favorite assault rifles right now uh, this thing is a super hard hitting gun and it actually has just got very minimal recoil with this build as you guys can be able to see great for that mediumish range and you can even burst it here a little bit at long ranges but i mean i really don't be going for like super long range shots of this gun because i have iron sights and uh, usually the closer to mediumish ranges is most of the range you're going to be at here in Modern Warfare 2. One of the beautiful things about the cast off 7.62 is that it's also at the beginning of the progression tree. Some guns have nothing and some have like four or five in here, which in the case if you want to use the mini back, you have to go through everything else in order to be able to use the mini back. Uh, but first thing in here, let's go for the muzzle. We're going to go throw on the Castovia DX90. This is going to be a large suppressor, and this is going to uh, help out with our sound suppression, bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. Of course, you lose some of your overall, um, you know, aim walking benefits your aim down sight speed aim walking speed aiming stability we lose a little bit of that but don't worry we'll kind of you know round out that stuff here within this build um we're actually skipped the barrel section we're gonna go straight down to the under barrel section we're gonna go throw on the fss shark fin 90 here just because this helps us out with our aiming idle stability while giving us no cons and i i feel like so many attachments in this game give you way too many cons so i'm trying to like minimize the cons and give us as much benefit as possible and make this gun very easy and fun to use so the shark fin 90 works out great for that um, at that, we're going to go down to the magazine section. Now, the magazine is kind of one of those things that like, a lot of people kind of throw up in like the air is like, do you really need a magazine? Because, you know, the TTK is so fast. Personally, I enjoy having a 40 round mag on this thing as opposed to rocking the base 30. I believe that's, you know, definitely a good option to be able to use. If you don't want to do this, maybe you can go over something like an optic. I personally prefer the iron sights. That's just my preference for multiplayer games. I don't really like using a red dot too, too much if I don't have to. And I definitely don't have to with this gun as the iron sights are really easy to be able to use. Um, after that, we're going to go to the rear grip section here. What we're going to do is we're going to go throw on the true tack grip. This is going to give us sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Um, if you don't really want to be able to have this on here, you can definitely go for like, you know, the Ivanov ST-70 grip. They have some kind of crazy names in here for some of this stuff, but I like to have a bit of an agile build here. You're considering the game is almost built to slow you down, like from the ground up, just between the movement, the sprint to fire times, like everything, it's meant to kind of slow you down. And lastly, we're going to go in here to the stock section. We're going to go throw on the Castov Rama stock. This is a low weight stock that gives us our increase in aim walking speed and sprint speed at the cost of a little bit of aiming stability. So, once again, you can switch out for some of these attachments. You want to make your gun a little bit more stable, but otherwise, you guys saw that close to mediumish range which is largely the range you're going to be getting into with people um it works out great so this is my full build here now let's move on to our next gun now for our next gun we're taking a look here at the fennec 45 so the fennec here also got that gun gold as well uh this is probably one of the most broken smgs in the entirety of modern warfare 2 i mean this isn't really a long range gun so i'm not going to go through and shoot down there at long range as you guys can see the recoil here just the very very minimal recoil control pulling down on the stick just a little bit very, very manageable, very easy. And this thing just takes people out extremely, extremely quick. All right, now let's get in here and build this gun. Of course, this is uh, the only thing here in its gun tree. Um, it doesn't have anything else. So it has 27 levels. Usually if this thing has, uh, you know, nothing else in the weapon tree, it's gonna have a lot more levels than some like the AKs, which maybe sometimes have 15 to 20, as opposed to 27 to 30. Uh, but anyways, first thing in here, we're gonna go throw on the X10 RR-40. This is a suppressor here, sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. A really great attachment to have on this gun. Love running this uh, silencer on this. Um, next up in the barrel section, we're going to go through on the ZLR 16.5 ignition barrel. This, I feel like it's one of those guns where I actually enjoy having a barrel on there just because it makes it more effective. Um, granted, it will slow you down a little bit, but you know, that increase in damage range, bullet velocity, hit fire accuracy, and recoil control is definitely very noticeable. So this is definitely well worth having a little bit of a, you know, movement style penalty just to be able to get a more effective gun overall. Um, after that, in the laser section, what we're going to do is we're going to go through on the VLK Laser 7MW. This is going to give us ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed absolutely love this thing um great great attachment on this gun helps to kind of speed you up a little bit um after that we're gonna go down to the magazine this has like a base 30 round mag but personally i want to run the fennec mag 45 uh this just gives you of course 45 rounds your magazine as opposed to 30 as you'd get pretty much off stock uh but i just think that you know because the fennec has such a high fire rate 
that you guys are going to be burning through that ammo real quick and that even though the ttk is fast sometimes you will lose a little bit of ammo just by trying to fire at somebody and it can put you in a bit of a sticky uh, predicament and also the reload speed on this thing's not super fast so you know having an extra rounds in your magazine can come in very very clutch and then lastly, we're going to go to the stock section here. We're going to go through on the Agile Assault 7 stock. Sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, and of course, aim down sight speed. A really great stock here. You lose a little bit of that recoil control and aiming stability, but as you guys saw by the initial frame range test, uh, this gun works out beautifully. So this is my full builds here. Definitely try it out super good gun all right next up fellas we're gonna be taking a look here at the tac 56 this is the 5.56 version the assault rifle here um kind of reminds me a bit of the modern warfare 3 scar the way it actually functions you can see by the iron sights i mean this just gives me some real throwback vibes gold came on it as well is real great i mean of course close range very easy to use medium range to be able to, very easy to be able to use and longer ranges very easy to be able to use while having great, great mobility. And the TAC-56 is the first gun and it's weapon tree, so that means you don't have to unlock anything else in order to be able to get access to this gun, which is pretty cool. So first thing in here, I want to go for the muzzle. We're going to go throw in the Echoless 80 sound suppression, build velocity, damage range, recoil smoothness, a really great suppressor. Um, we're skipping the barrel section because all the barrels, frankly, kind of suck for this gun. We're going to go throw in the FSS Shark Fin 90 here, kind of like a commando foregrip to me. I use it on a lot of different guns. It works out just really, really nicely. So idle aiming stability, and it says well-rounded angled foregrip for those who prefer accuracy while on the move. And I like to rush around. I like to move around a lot. So, you know, that's definitely good for me. Um, after that, we're going to go down to the magazine section and throw on the 40 round mag. I normally am a 60 round mag kind of guy, you know, like going for that 60, but um, I don't need to slow myself down more so. I mean, so I believe 40 is just perfectly fine for public match multiplayer. Maybe come Warzone 2, I'd switch over to like a 60, you know what I'm saying? Because there's, you know, armor and everything like that. But uh, otherwise, I mean, I don't really find myself inclined to even go more than a 40. You can even get away with the base 30, but sometimes I feel like there's also like enough, not enough attachments that I find are really good without having too, too many cons. It's kind of like one of those things in Modern Warfare where sometimes you almost feel like the base gun is better than the regular gun when you start putting attachments on it. Like it's like when you put attachments on it, it starts making it worse. It's, it's really, really weird. Um, anyways, next up, rear grip section, FSS combat grip for recoil control. It just helps us, you know, a little bit. Aiming stability, you lose a tab of that, but you, as you guys can tell, I mean, it's very easy to be able to use. And then uh, lastly, in the stock section, we go for the TV Cardinal stock. Aim walking speed and sprint speed. And you lose, of course, a tab of aiming stability. But like I said, you guys saw, it was very easy to be able to use. But this is my full build tier for the TAC-56. Love this gun. All right, next up is going to be one of my favorites right now in the game, the Vaznev 9K. So this is a gun that takes a minute to unlock, but it is a super, super fun gun to be able to use. I don't know why it's actually not giving me a reload animation sound right there. But this is pretty much the go-to CDL SMG, like the competitive SMG people are going to be using because they actually outlawed the AK-74U, uh, the Kastov 74U. So let's check this one out. And I will say this is one of the downsides to this gun right here is that you, in order to be able to get access to it, you have to rank up the Kastov uh, 762, the 545, which is probably the worst one out of the, uh, the Kastovs, the 74U, which is actually really broke, and then you then you get access to the Vaznev 9K. So you have a quite a bit of a progression tree here to go through in order to unlock the Vaznev 9K. All right, hopping in here to our first attachment. We're in the Syngard uh, MKV suppressor, sound suppression, build velocity, damage range, recoil smoothness, a really great suppressor attachment. Um, I normally speak and go for something that has a little bit less cons, but I feel like just because I'm running uh, a stock here, which I'll show you guys in a minute, that I need a little bit more of, you know, the recoil control benefits and stuff that I get out of this specific specific suppressor um after that we're gonna go throw on a barrel here and we're gonna go throw on the large barrel it's a heavier combat barrel and it says that increase in bullet velocity recoil control damage range and hit fire accuracy uh of course at the expense of some movement but we've kind of like even that out a little bit more so while keeping us super effective so that's the reason i really like running this barrel um, we're in the laser section to go through on the 1MW laser box. This just gives us hip fire accuracy and hip recoil control. Uh, this is definitely really good if you're trying to be super aggressive. You can get readily up in people's faces and have some great hip fire accuracy. It's definitely worked in, to my advantage plenty of times. Um, after that, we're going to go down to the magazine. We're throwing on that base 45 round mag here. I absolutely love the 45 on this thing. Just makes it feel a little bit more effective. Um, and I just like having extra rounds of magazine. I feel like I can perfectly deal with this. Very agile, very mobile still. And I really, really like it. And then lastly, go to the stock. I'm going to go through on the VLK stockless 
stock. Kind of a weird one right there, a little bit of a tongue twister. Uh, but you get a massive increase in ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. We do lose some overall aiming stability and stuff like that. So this is one of those things that, you know, we have the large barrel in there to be able to compensate for some of the other stuff. So I've really rounded out this build for, you know, peak mobility and peak performance at that closer to medium-ish range. Um, really love the Vaznev 9K. Here's my full build. This is a real OP gun. All right, next up, we're going to take a look here at the STB. This is the 5.56 uh, version of the AUG, more or less, whatever one likes to call it. This is a really fun gun, one of my earlier uh, favorite assault rifles. As you guys can see, very easy to be able to control. Doesn't really have too much of a recoil pattern. You can have longer ranges. I mean, burst it just a tad bit, and there you go. I mean, very effective at those ranges. But overall, this is a great assault rifle, probably one of the most effective ones in the entire game. And one of the other good things here about this gun too is that it is the first thing in its progression tree. So of course you get immediate access to this gun, unlike the Vaznev, our previous gun, ready to go through like a whole bunch of different stuff in order to be able to get it. So this is a really good thing for that reason. First thing here though, we're gonna go throw in the Echoless 80 suppressor here. You guys understand what it does by now. I've used the Echoless 80 here in a couple of my builds, so I'm not gonna explain that one too much. Um, after that, we're going to go to the barrel section. We're going to go through on the 508mm rear guard, barrel damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. Uh, some of these other ones in here will do a little bit more, but it's kind of slows you down a little bit too much for my personal preference. So I try to find that bit of like that happy medium route, and this definitely kind of seems to work out really nicely for me, so I like that. Um, after that, we're going to go down here to the underbarrel section, the Shark Fin 90 here as per usual. Just got to increase that idle aiming stability, and my accuracy will on the move, so I really like that. Um, after that, we're going to go to the laser section. We're going to go through on the va uh, the VLK Laser 7MW for increase in ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. Just a really great attachment, and I don't really care if the laser is visible in ADS to anybody out there. It doesn't bother me. They're probably dead anyways by the time they see that. Um, and then we're going to skip the magazine. We're going to go straight in here to the stock section. We're going to go through on the Bruin MX-9 stock. This says... This is a stock for the Bruin MX-9 submachine gun. Get on sight faster with increased aiming speed, but doesn't necessarily give you what it does. It just actually shows that it increases your aim aiming speed. And I feel a little bit faster when I use this, so I'm kind of been rocking with that. But otherwise, you'd probably switch this out for something like maybe like an optic or even like a rear grip or a magazine, for instance. I think the 42 round mag maybe slows you down just a little bit too much for my preference. So I took that off and went back to the 30. But overall, this is a really great setup here on this gun. Last but not least here, um, actually specifically not least, is the uh, cast off 74 use. This is technically an assault rifle or it's in the assault rifle category, but I really classify this as an SMG or the AK-74 use. What I would say it is, uh, this thing is incredibly, incredibly hard hitting. Uh, I mean, it's going to have a tad bit of recoil, but otherwise, I mean, pretty much most guns do in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, just a little bit of recoil control right there. Very easy to be able to use. I love this gun. This is a very OP SMG. And much like the Vast m 9 k you do have to go through the 762, the 545, in order to be able to have the ability to use this gun. There's no way around it. You have to have, you know, these other guns leveled up in order to be able to have access to this one. For our muscle, we're going to go throw on the Gauge 9 Mono Suppressor here. Sound suppression, bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, and recoil control. Really great stuff here to have on a silencer. Um, after that, of course, we're just going to throw on the Shark Fin 90 here. This is a pretty standard attachment for a lot of my builds. Um, a lot of them just have way too many cons for me. I just don't like that. It seems like, like I said earlier in the video, you just make your guns worse the more attachments you put on them. So I'm trying like not to do that. Um, and it just keeps some of the real great benefits because even when you just first unlock this gun, like the base gun, no attachments is literally amazing. Like it is, it's disgusting. Um, after that, we're going to go down here to the magazine. We're throwing the 45 round mag just to give me a little bit more ammo. You definitely don't have to be able to do that, but I threw this on here just because there's not many other attachments that I feel like are really all that great. And I was like, I have an extra attachment slot. I'm not normally used to having like attachments where I'm like, okay, you know, I have too many or I can't find something else that's good. Usually you always are like, okay, there's some, definitely something else you can switch it out for, but not necessarily Model Warfare 2. It's kind of weird like that. Um, after that though, in the rear grip section here, go for the two tack grip, but the true tack grip, my bad, for sprint to fire speed and ADS speed. Um, just makes this look a little bit more mobile. And then lastly, in the stock section, we're gonna go for the O-Treats stock however you pronounce that pretty much aiming uh, aim walking speed and sprint speed uh this just makes it a little bit more agile i normally would like to go for a no stock attachment but that's really gonna mess your recoil quite a bit so we just went for the o trees stock whatever you want to call it i'm probably butchering the heck out of that but anyways this is my full build here hope you all enjoyed today's video if you guys did give it a like subscribe and i'll see you all later just remember to triple cap don't be randy and i'm out peace